Today I'm going to be talking about a topic that is widely discussed, and that is Matt Groening, the creator of The Simpsons and Futurama, he is in fact a time traveller. Okay, I don't actually think he's a time traveller before you tell me to put on the, uh, the tinfoil hat, but there has been so many times where The Simpsons has predicted the future, like eerily spot on. And you have to stop and think, well, hang on a sec, something, something is going on here. For example, there was the Siegfried and Roy tiger attack that happened in season five. Now, in this episode, Mr. Burns, he decides to build a casino. And this introduced the characters Gunter and Ernst, who quite clearly were supposed to be Siegfried and Roy. And their act ends in tragedy when the tiger turns against them, which happened for real more than 10 years later. Okay, you could say that was probably inevitable. After all, they're dealing with wild animals, but the examples of possible time travel, they get weirder, trust me. Take this for example, the Lisa's wedding episode from 1995, that came with a lot of predictions, as after all, it was set in the future. One prediction had a lot of people talking. During Lisa's trip to London, we see a skyscraper behind Tower Bridge that is quite clearly the Shard. I mean, come on, it's even in the right location. Here's the thing, construction for the Shard didn't happen until 2009, a whopping 14 years after this episode aired. And then on another Simpsons episode, again set in the future, the Simpsons predicted that Trump would be president. Yep, in season 11, episode 17, Lisa has become the President of the United States and in a cabinet meeting, she offhandedly mentions... As you know, we've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. How bad is it, Secretary Van Houten? We're broke! In season 10, The Simpsons also predicted that Disney would end up buying 20th Century Fox. A scene at the end of an episode, it shows the 20th Century Fox logo with a division of Walt Disney Co. below it. Sure, since this actually happened, The Simpsons have made fun numerous times of their parent company, but when this particular episode aired in 2018, there wasn't even rumours that this was going to be happening. Now here's another example of The Simpsons predicting the future, which is just too bizarre to be believed. They actually predicted the name of a Nobel Prize winner. And we're talking an obscure name as well, not just like John Smith. MIT professor Bengt Holmstrom, I really hope I'm saying that right, he won the Nobel Prize in Economics in 2016. This was six years after he was bet on to win the Nobel Prize on The Simpsons. Ignore the red circle you see in the pig, that was put in there by the show. Here is the name. Remember the infamous three-eyed fish Blinky seen in season two? If you're unfamiliar with the character, is it a character? Yeah, it may be a fish. It's still a character. Wait a minute. One, two, three. Well, he was a mutation linked to the nuclear plant that features in the show. Cut to years later in 2011, fishermen, they caught a three-eyed wolf fish in a reservoir that, yes, just so happens to feed near a nuclear plant in Argentina. The Simpsons also invented smartwatches. An episode aired in 1995 showing what is quite clearly a smartwatch. This was nearly 20 years before the Apple Watch was actually released. Blast! Go to plan B. Yes, I will! <gasps> Isn't it wonderful? Master Hugh has found a true love. Wait a second. What if, rather than on this occasion, the Simpsons predicting the future, what if they inspired it? What if Apple got its inspiration from the Simpsons? Spooky, the plot thickens. Anyway, if you're still not convinced that The Simpsons could be predicting the future, I've got just a few more examples. One taken from an episode in uh, 2008. It shows Homer trying to vote for Barack Obama in the US general election, but a faulty machine changed his vote. 
cut to four years later, a voting machine in Pennsylvania that had to be removed after it kept changing people's votes for Barack Obama to the ones for his rival Romney. In one of the biggest upsets in the 2018 Winter Olympics, the US curling team, they won gold, beating the favourites, Sweden. Nobody could have predicted this. Actually, no, I tell a lie. The Simpsons did. Back in 2010. In the episode Boy Meets Curl, Marge and Homer, they compete in curling at the Vancouver Olympics and just so happen to beat Sweden. In real life, the US men's Olympic curling team, they won a gold medal after defeating Sweden, even though they were behind, which is exactly how it played out on The Simpsons. Now, remember the horse meat scandal? The Food Safety Authority of Ireland, they found horse DNA in over one third of beef burger samples from supermarkets and ready meals. Now, I would be surprised if you don't remember this. The internet went to town with the memes. Yep, Simpsons predicted this as well. There's an episode in 1994 where lunch lady Doris is giving the kids horse meat. This was actually nine years before the scandal happened for real. So many examples of The Simpsons predicting the future and there's so many more examples I could have used as well. I just picked some of my favourites. Surely some of these can't just be a coincidence. Is there something more happening here? I don't know, I sound absolutely crazy. I'm well aware of that, but it's, um, it's an interesting topic nonetheless, one I'm quite fascinated by, and I would love to hear your thoughts below. I bloody love you, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hello? Yes? Hey, sorry, me again. I just wanted to say if you could click subscribe, click the bell button, like, comment below, all these things, they help a small channel slowly grow into a big one. It means a lot. Thank you. Bye-bye.